What's up guys, Dr. Stave here, and today we're doing a full review on the Honey Badger as it appears in Airsoft Center. Now, the Honey Badger's defining feature is its very high fire rate at 840 RPM, making it, by a long shot, the fastest firing assault rifle in the game. Its ammo count, however, is not so great at 90, which is below average, and from what I see, the average for these assault rifles is usually 100, 110, so it's slightly below average compared to the rest of the assault rifles. The cost, I already bought it so you can't see, the cost was $5,005, which is quite a hefty fee for this gun, but we'll see if it's worth it. And also I'm confused why 5005 and not just 5000 Bit of a strange choice there. Unless there's some reference I'm probably missing out on. Let's try it out. Also, we're not using any sights or attachments or anything, we're just using it kind of raw. Oh, nice. That's freaking, you can feel the fire rate, man, that's crazy. Oh, man. Sorry for swearing there, guys. This is a Christian family-friendly channel. Uh, that's really sick. Ah! Anyway, we're just gonna keep going along here and not raging to ourselves. And I would assume, I would very much assume, that this gun is not intended for the longer ranges. It's mostly, from what I can see, for the shorter to medium ranges, as we're gonna see here. Okay, that was pretty long range. That's not so bad. You could spray nicely with it. I mean, like... Dang, you could probably get some really good combo kills with this one and multi-kills, but... I'm just not so good. Remember guys, I say this every time I do a gun review. If you see me dying in these videos, it doesn't mean the gun's bad. It usually just means I'm bad. I'm just trying out the gun and giving my own personal opinion on it. And actually, this default sight is very nice in my opinion. That's not so bad. Oh my gosh, I just got killed by a freak of nature. No, I'm just kidding. That's mean. But um, oh damn, I'm kind of getting spawn camped there. Dang. Spawns aren't even uniform anymore. They're random. Still getting spawn camps. Damn. But anyway, the sight is actually really... <laughs> I suck so bad, dude. Okay, I'm not gonna get absolutely morbed on, right? I'm gonna get absolutely morbed on. Oh, I killed him anyway. Okay, see guys, that's the power of the honey badger. But I'm I'm kind of liking this. I'm getting beat up here because I'm I'm just talking a lot, and it's not good to talk a lot while you play. Can't really concentrate on everything. But I'm liking this sight here, as I said before. You can like see a decent amount out of it. The big like the black part of it, that's um toward the back of the gun, does block a bit, but it's not the most, like, not the biggest, clunkiest looking sight. Oh, thought I died there, but the round just ended. But it's not the clunkiest looking sight, so I feel like you could honestly pretty competitively use this gun just default with no added, added attachments, in my opinion. It's probably even better if I add, like, a sight of my choice, like the EOTech sight, which I use all the time, but I feel like this gun could be pretty reliably used without a sight, just from what I see that, like, one minute I played there. This reminds me of a fan. This reminds me of a Phantom Forces map for some reason. There's like a map where it's in the suburbs, kinda, and this is just like it. Oh, there we go, got him. That fire rate is crazy, man. But one problem that I could see with this gun is that the fire rate is so high you run out of bullets quick and have to reload sooner. But honestly, ammo count, it is very important in this game. I'm not downgrading it, but usually guns have so much ammo, like in the hundreds, and for in this case, ninety, that you rarely have to reload. But that's just one thing I'd like to point out about the high fire rate is that you could expend all your bullets really quick without actually killing people with those bullets, and then you got to reload more often. So if you don't like to reload for some reason, then maybe this isn't the gun for you. But honestly, I'm really glad I bought this gun. I mean, I buy some expensive guns in the game for these videos, and sometimes I feel like it was a waste, like with Spass 12. I'm still never going to get over that. But this Honey Badger I just bought here could be my new main weapon, pretty much. I like the high fire rate. You could use it with my playstyle, which is just kind of running around the map, mobile warfare. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I really like this. It's even not so bad at long range. You could, you just keep firing with the f high fire rate, and eventually one of them will hit. That's actually quite nice. And I'm probably going to buy some attachments for this gun after the video, to be honest, because it's just great. I just don't like to use attachments in the videos, because that will, um, it'll cause, it'll just cause bias. Because depending on what attachment you pick, the gun could perform better or worse in a given situation. So I just like to do a raw, plain test. Oh my gosh, I'm killing them all. Damn. It's freaking awesome, man. It's not too bad. Hey. There we go, boys. We're actually doing it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm loving this, man. The greatest. <laughs> Seven spree. Alright, guys. Um, I think we should end this while we're ahead. Uh, I just want to say you guys should definitely buy this gun if you like playing with assault rifles it's probably the probably one of the more fun guns that i've tried recently just spraying people down and if this video helped you pick out a cool new gun then please leave a comment below
And if you already play with the Honey Badger a lot, please comment your setup that you'd like to use on the gun. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and goodbye, my friends.